Hey everybody, it's Coach Alex D here. Uh, today's wonderful lesson is on how to overcome anxiety and worry. So uh, I'm going to give you three major lessons on this, and that's the purpose of this video. Uh, so hopefully you'll find it uh, helpful. If you do, just like it, share it, and so we can bless others and have them have a fantastic day and create a really a different perspective that might be able to help them to change their lives. So there's really three steps on how you can overcome worry and anxiety. So whenever something happens to you, and believe me, we all go through it, you want to look at it in a way like, okay, so instead of thinking something is happening to you, think of it as what is a lesson that I'm supposed to learn here? Because there's a lesson. There's a lesson in everything that happens to you in life. So whenever something happens is what is the lesson I'm supposed to learn? So that's, that's one. The second one is how can I use this to make me stronger, okay? How can I use this in a good way where it's going to change my life for the better, where I can be able to do something and it makes me stronger as an individual and I can do more, be more, do all these things that are absolutely awesome, right? So that's the second one. And the third thing is everything happens for your higher good, okay? So now I'm going to give you an example so you kind of you guys have an idea of what that's like. So uh, 2011, so a long time ago, I had a business partner that basically we did this deal and it went just went terribly wrong because the guy didn't have any integrity, right? So when it happened, you know, I went through the same worry, uncertainty, like what's going to happen. And really for three, four years, uh, for, it took three years to recover from this, okay? But during that process, I, I was really worried and I had a lot of anxiety. But then, you know, what was interesting is going through that process, I started going through this myself. I said, okay, you know what? This crap happened for a reason. So what, what, what am I supposed to learn here? What, what's the big thing? There's, there's something I'm supposed to gain from this. And so when I looked at it from that perspective, it completely changed, right? So it, what I did is I started doing, I started getting very, I started getting smarter. I started doing a lot of things differently. Um, now, I mean, it made me smarter because of that experience, because I had such a bad experience what I decided to do is use that to say, I'm never going to let this happen again. So how can I make sure this doesn't happen again? So I learned more. I became more. And, I, and now, I mean, because of that experience, had that experience not happened, I wouldn't have been able to do multi seven figures in private equity. It just, it's not freaking possible because I wouldn't have been motivated to. Okay. So the reason why I was able to do it was because of that happening. Okay. So I went back and said, okay, there's a lesson here. What's the lesson? Well, the lesson is, I need to be smarter whenever I'm doing deals. What's the second thing? How can I use this to make me stronger? Well, uh, I'm going to go through and I'm going to learn the things that I need to learn in order for me to be able to do the very bare minimum to be able to be successful in this. Okay. And then the third thing, everything happens for your greater good. So because of that happening and some of you are, uh, bottom line is guys, I'm going to say some of you are, are, are religious, almost all of us, 95% of us are spiritual. If you really believe that Everything in your life happens for your greater good, and God has sometimes a purpose for you where you don't even know about. When I was going through that process, it literally, the way I interpreted it, is that God was molding me to be, be strong. Was I had to go through this freaking thing for me to become who I am today. So am I mentally tough? Freak yeah, because there's just no way. I can't be after going through that experience. And now anything else that happens to me in life is like a freaking breeze compared to what I went through. So because of that, I'm stronger. And so are you, for the record. So if you want to know, are you strong? Think about it. It took a million sperm cells for you to be alive today. So it's a miracle the fact that you're alive today, right? And now you've lived 30, 40, 50 years and you're still alive. So what does that tell you? That that tells you that you guys are freaking strong. You're very, You're more powerful than you think, okay? So when you guys get worried or anxiety, just think of these three lessons. Number one is there, there's a reason behind. So, so what am I supposed to learn from this? The second thing is how can this make me stronger? And the third thing is just realize like this happens for your greater good. Sometimes you may not know it right there. It took me three years. Sometimes the lesson is maybe three or five years down the road. But I promise you, if you look at it that way, you learn the lessons, it won't happen to you again. And uh, there's a big saying saying, you're going to keep recurring the same freaking mistakes until you learn the lesson. So learn the lesson quick because that way you won't have the same things happen over and over again. Okay. So because of that, I did multi seven figures offline and now I'm doing multi seven figures online. Just, just that one little tweak because now anything that ever happens to me, I'm like, okay, cool. So we got to deal with this. How can we tweak and adjust this to make it work? Okay. So hopefully that was valuable for you guys. If it is share it, bless it. I just want to guys, I just, I want to inspire you, motivate you, realize like, you know what? 
Life is not happening to you. Life is happening through you, which means you guys have all the freaking power to change anything you want in your life. Anything. You want to make more money? You can do it. You want to be more powerful? You can do it. And this one little tweak, if you just start thinking of this differently, it's going to stop worrying and anxiety. And when you stop doing that, it's going to create action. And when you create action, you get the results you want. Okay? So if this was helpful, love it, share it, like it so I know, and uh, just bless others with it. All right? Love you guys. Have an absolutely fantastic day and a blessed weekend. I'll catch you guys later.